Hi guys and girls, it's Bruce Lee John Fan 13 back with a quick update. And um I have noticed actually, not many people are doing updates these days. Uh I miss that actually in a way, because it gives me like ideas for uh like new ones to get and whatever. But um seems to have really dropped off. A lot of subs like people I sub uh, were doing updates, you know, all the time. Well, it just seemed to have dropped off a bit, so... But anyway, this is my uh, new one. So I've been out on a hunt again, and so got some pretty good goodies. So we're uh, half are uh, normal, uh, you know, like action and stuff like that. And the rest are like half or a half action, drama, whatever. So uh, first one up is, uh, well I do apologise if I'd, I've shown what maybe one or two in another update or whatever, I just lose track of like how many uh, I'm getting because I'm not updating as often as I used to myself. Okay, first one is Unbreakable, uh, one of the better M. Night Shal Shyamalan uh, efforts, probably the, maybe what the last pretty good one that he did I'd say. Um, I do like Signs and Sixth Sense and this one. But apart from that, it's a bit hit and miss. So, unbreakable. Uh, another blade to go with my. Uh, I did get blade three as well, but they couldn't uh, find the disc in the shop. So blade two, and apparently, a um, Wesley is coming back for blade four at some point. So. Uh, pretty new release, Gravity. So we did watch this the other night. Pretty good. I'd liked it. And Captain Phillips, which uh, I found re a really, really good watch. You know, if uh, you haven't seen it, I'd definitely recommend that. Taken 2, which is, you know, not quite as good as Taken 1, but it's still pretty up there. You know, I enjoyed it, watched it again. Last night. John dies at the end. Uh, I've only watched half of this so far, but I've liked what I've seen. It's pretty good. Uh, un un unopened Jack Reacher. So obviously, you haven't watched that yet and haven't seen it before either. So it was just cheap for Master. So um, yeah, I'll give it a go. Castaway. Another Tom Hanks, so I went a bit sort of, I've got another Tom Hanks one coming as well, um, but basically this is just an upgrade for me, I do like Castaway, so upgrade that one, and upgrade the Green Mile as well. We have a guilty pleasure here, Ghost Rider, don't like the second one at all, but uh, this one, uh, and it looks really cool. Uh, really good in Blu-ray as well. So, do like me some Nicolas Cage. Uh, next, you know, onto the horrors now. Is Texas Chainsaw the beginning? My uh, say second or third favorite out of all of them. But uh, yeah, I do. Want... He did send me uh, Texas Chainsaw the uncut uh, edition. That's like an import and stuff, but. Look at that, you know, unlucky it was region A, so uh, I couldn't play it, I had to send it back and they sent me the, you know, R-rated version, but uh, yeah, you know, I still enjoy it, it's a good film, I'm glad to have it, there's only two missing in my chainsaw collection now, uh, Leatherface and uh, Regenerations, or Regeneration, whatever, but uh, I do like the beginning. Next is The Mist, we don't really need to talk about that one. The uh, two disc black and white and normal edition. I missed. Uh, Deadly Blessing. So that's a two disc one as well. Get your booklet and a little postcard there. I decided to go with the um, original artwork, the other one's a bit. I just wasn't didn't like it much, a bit crazy. So, and 
next to the Devil's Rejects. Glad to finally get this one. I haven't checked it out on Blu-ray yet because I watched it not long ago, but uh, glad to have it in the collection. Another one I haven't watched as yet, Mask Maker. It was the um, attraction of uh, Michael Berryman being in this that made, that I thought, you know, I'll give that a watch and it was quite cheap from CEX as well, so. If anyone's seen that one, you know, um, let me know, see what you thought. <coughs> Next is, as, as some of you might know, um, Anch uh, Anchor Bay. Arrow have done six steel books. Uh, some are more limited than others to celebrate their five years of uh, trait like being in business and I'd say being on top of uh, UK horror like releasing. So uh, I've managed to get three of those, which the first one, City of the Living Dead. I don't know if the light's catching that at all, or you, can you see it? And there's the back. So I haven't actually watched this yet. I've got the DVD and I've started watching it, but I never finished. So uh, glad to have the steelbook. Next is uh, Unopened Day of the Dead. I know it's got the um, zombie head on the back that you see, but like sometimes. So it's uh, still an open because I've got the arrow slip window box version of it. So uh, I just keep that one, you know, just for because of collectability. It's my favourite zombie movie, so or one of in my top three, I'd say. Return of the Living Dead being probably the first, but um, do love this one as well. So had to get it. Lovely looking. And last but definitely not least. My favourite uh, Argento is Phenomena. So, so glad as well. All these have came without a scratch, dent, or anything. So not directly from Zavi. I've uh, had them from the uh, eBay seller that I use a lot. So and he uh, usually makes sure it's all packaged really good and stuff. So yeah, glad to have those. And that's it for now. So uh, hope you like that uh, update and I'll uh, see you next time.